It's all about the silhouettes, and today we're talking sheath and column gowns. Hi Bells, it's Sarah Stanford here with your BBT, and today we're talking silhouettes, and specifically the sheath gown and the column gown. Now, the sheath gown and the column gown are very similar in a lot of ways, but there's slight differences with them, and we'll go over that in a couple of minutes. The sheath and the column gown are really gowns that are for a bride who is looking for a less formal look. It's a little bit more easy breezy, a little bit more flowy, and it's just for somebody who's not looking for that, you know, really formal gown. Maybe she's getting married on the beach, or at a park, or something like that. So let's turn around and look at the sheath gown first. This gown is a gorgeous, sexy sheath gown. Okay, it has a little bit of um, embellishment and lace on the straps and it's also mimicked in the same place on the bust line with the same lace and the same beading. But most importantly, what makes a sheath gown a sheath gown is the way it just kind of falls on the body. So it hugs the waistline nicely. This one has a little bit of ruching which helps again to cinch in the waistline and then it just falls gently on the rest of the body. So it falls over your hips and just flows down your legs and just gives you that nice kind of what I call ethereal look. Now, honestly, some women have come and looked at this gown and said, boy, it's sour, it looked like a nighty, right? But you know, it's just a different kind of look. Again, it's not the traditional bridal look, but for that bride that wants to be comfortable and sexy, she's having a smaller wedding or a more casual wedding on the beach or in a park or something like that, a sheath gown is absolutely perfect for her. For her. And this one hits the mark perfectly. Okay, the next dress I want to show you is what we call a column gown. And you're going to say to me, Sarah, what's the difference between a column gown and a sheath gown? Well, kind of, if you look at both of them, this one is a little bit straighter than this one. This one here comes in a little bit more along the hips and then actually has a little bit more of a flare where this gown just kind of is straight down. Yeah, but it still hugs the hips, but it doesn't have as much of a flare. This particular gown is a lace gown. It is strapless. It has a ruching that we all love, right? And then I added this little floral belt detail, which I quite like, but if you don't like it, you don't have to wear it, or we could change it out to maybe a beaded belt or a pearl belt, or even a colored belt if that's what you're looking for, right? But this gown, again, flows, falls on the body. It hugs the hips a little bit, but then just gently flows away. So you don't get that dramatic flare at the bottom of the gown like you would with a mermaid or a fit and flare or a trumpet gown. All right, again, a really nice option for a bride who's looking to just have a nice, more casual day, who is maybe getting up married on the beach, something like that. All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get some more information on silhouettes and everything wedding dresses. Have a wonderful day, and as always, make it for silhouettes.